Exciting news, Samsung is rolling out the new security patch for the Galaxy S series and the Galaxy Z series. So I've got the S25 Ultra over here on my left. As you can see, there is an update and I've got the Z Fold 7 over here on the right that also has the update. So we're going to jump right into it and see what's new. So let's get started. All right, so as we are waiting for the updates to install on these devices, let's talk about the November 1st, 2025 security patch with the update for the Galaxy S25 Ultra and the Z Fold 7. So first and foremost, this is a large update. This is about 500 megs. The reason being for that is that Samsung actually has several high security updates, which we're gonna go over in this video which is kind of uncommon. Usually we get about one or two for the semiconductor, but from what I'm understanding, I believe we get four or five on this one. We're gonna jump into that. We're gonna see if there's any new differences. And once this is done, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so as we're waiting for the S25 Ultra to finish downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and restart the Z Fold 7. We'll get this installed. First and foremost, anytime that you do an update, please make sure you go to your Galaxy Store and update any apps on there. Sometimes apps will not appear in the Galaxy Store until after the update, or sometimes they will appear and they need to be updated in order to work with the latest update that gets pushed out. So we're gonna take a look at a few of the Samsung applications and see if there's anything new as far as versions. We'll take a look at the One UI Home We'll take a look at the camera and we'll take a look at my files. All right, so this one is rebooting. We're gonna jump right into this. If you have not installed an update on your device before, it's very easy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna swipe down. You're gonna go into your settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down. You'll go to software update and then you'll click on download and install and you should be greeted with a page like this. So it looks like the S25 Ultra is done. Before I restart this, we're gonna go ahead and see what is in the Galaxy Store. So if we jump into the Galaxy Store, we can see there is an update to the Galaxy Store. Now I have not been using the S25 Ultra as my daily. I've been using the Z Fold 7. So this may or may not apply to you, but let me go ahead and update this. Like I said, anytime you do the update, you wanna make sure to go in and update any application so that they are compatible, that you are getting the latest and greatest features that are getting pushed out with any of these updates. All right, so the Z Fold 7 is booted back up. The update has been installed. Let's just check and see. It may be running in the background. Yeah, so it's finishing the system update, so we'll wait for that. Once that's done, we're gonna go into the Galaxy Store. Let's go ahead and on the S25 Ultra, let's jump into the Galaxy Store over here and let's go ahead and see what updates we have. So as I said, I have not been using this device as my daily, so there are 27 updates here. Uh, I don't believe that these are all related to the November 1st security patch. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Z Fold 7. And with the Z Fold 7, I see there's a update for Galaxy Buds, there's Netflix. So it looks like just for the Galaxy, we've got the Galaxy Buds over here. On here, we do have the Galaxy wearable application that needs an update. Let's see when this one came out. Uh, so this came out November 20th. So this is a new one. I'm, I'm wondering why that's not showing up on the Z Fold 7. Let's take a look at the reminder application. I believe that this one was pushed out just recently as well. So this is November 7th, so not as recent. Let me go ahead and update all of these on the S25 Ultra, and we'll go ahead and let's see what the Galaxy Buds say here. So anytime that you click on there, you can scroll down, you can see the description of what this is for, and then you can also see the update. So this update was actually pushed out November 18th. Today is November 21st, so this is just now hitting my device, and let's see if there's anything in here about what is being improved. Usually this is just gonna be stability, 
does not look like it. So let's just go ahead and update that. So while the S25 Ultra is updating, let's go ahead and take a look at what is new with the November 1st, 2025 security patch on the last update here. So this is One UI 8. This is Android version 16. This software version is ending in AYK9. This is 541.77 megabytes. It is the November 1st, 2025 security patch. We're gonna go right into the security patch update. To do that, you're going to go into your settings. You're gonna scroll down to about phone, and then you're gonna go ahead and go to software information. Scroll down and click on Android security patch level. This will bring you to the Android security bulletin. From the bulletin, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down, select your device, and so we will select Samsung. And this is showing us the November 2025 security patch. If we scroll down here, we can see that we have one critical, so these are the patches from Google. So there's one, two critical security patches. Looks like there is a handful of high, no moderate, and then we have these two that are listed here that are says are not applicable to Samsung devices. What I was saying earlier in the video is that normally for Samsung, we get maybe one or two updates to the semiconductor. Samsung semiconductor patch is also included in the security maintenance release. So if we scroll down here, we can actually see that we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five security patches for a Samsung semiconductor, which is a really big deal because we normally only see one or two. And if we scroll down here, you can actually see what those patches are. So it looks like we have one here, which is for the fingerprint sensor. If you're having problems with the fingerprint sensor, hopefully that will fix any issues you've been having. It looks like in this one here, it says this is insecure default configuration in USB connection mode. So this is going to address any issues that you might have with USB connection. We scroll down here, we've got one and two, so that is four. And these I believe are related to codecs. You can feel free to read through here if you'd like. And then it looks like that is it for those. So once again, normally we only get like one or two of these. We've got five on this update. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at if there's any differences in the Samsung application. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the camera here. We're gonna go ahead and click on the little eye. That's gonna let you see. So this is on version 16.0.02.13. Three. Go ahead and jump into the S25 Ultra and see what this one is. This one is at 16.0.00.66. So we can see that there are some differences in the two devices. Let's go ahead and take a look at the My Files. So we'll go ahead and see what we have about. So this is 15.4.01.2. Let's see what we have on this one here. And this one is 15.4.01.13. So you can see that there are some differences between these two devices. Once again, we'll go ahead and let's take a look at the gallery and see if there's any updates to that. Version 15.7.00.43. And let's take a look at this one here. And this is 15.7.00.43. Four, three. So it doesn't look like there's any updates there. And let's take a look and see where we're at with the updates. So one thing that I was told, and I haven't checked this out yet, is we are supposed to get a new option within Now Brief. So let's go ahead and jump into Now Brief. And we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom. And let's click the gear. And I believe in content to include, we now should have the Nano Banana. Yep, here we go. So nano banana image creation. So this is something that's brought new with the November 1st, 2025 security patch to the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Go ahead and toggle that on. And my understanding is with the nano banana, I haven't played with it yet. Obviously just installed this, but I believe it's supposed to show creations that you do with nano banana every once in a while that will show up in your now brief. So we'll have to test that out. I'll let you know how that's working. So if you're enjoying this type of content on your Galaxy S25 Ultra or the Galaxy Z Fold series, 
please make sure to give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos get uploaded. Make sure to share this video so it gets out to more tech enthusiasts like yourself. And I will go into more detail after I've tested these out. That's all I have for now. Once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in our next video.